Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Spinney, on a humid and mostly rainy Monday here in the Big Apple. A full weekend has passed. A new session has already begun. I hope you enjoy the lovely summer weather this weekend. I know I did. And it's also time for us to enjoy the end of the day because it's about that time. That's right. It's 4 o'clock. The markets there closed and everyone running out of here to grab a drink. And so should you. So let's get it going. It's happy hour here in New York City. Now, U.S. stocks pairing early losses this Monday afternoon, but still remaining in the red as the big board opened with a big loss following the collapse of weekend talks between Greece and its creditors. Athens and its creditors failing to come to a deal over the weekend because Athens did not accept demands for deeper reforms of pensions. Value-added tax, better known as the VAT, and of its administration, labor markets and industry. European Central Bank President Super Mario Draghi also saying today that the ECB would continue approving emergency funding for Greek banks as long as they have enough cash and collateral to operate. Meanwhile, today's domestic economic reports mixed. The Empire State Manufacturing Survey showing the weakest level in more than two years as new orders fell from 3.09 in May to a total of negative 1.98 in June. That's the lowest level since January 2013. Also, May industrial production falling unexpectedly, down 0.2% in May. But the National Association of Home Builders, the NAHB, its housing market index rising more than expected, rising five points in June to the highest level since last September. Now, you team that with no major earnings reports, a higher dollar, crude down to 59.50 a barrel, and gold hurt holding firm. In order to start the week, then you have yourself a session where two stocks have declined for every advancer right behind me at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's now take a look to see how the markets have shaped up to close out this, the first trading session of the week. And on the corporate front, Target, that's in focus. After the drugstore operator CVS Health said that it, w that it will acquire Target's U.S. pharmacy and clinics businesses in a deal valued at $1.9 billion. And with that stated, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. I'll see you guys all tomorrow afternoon. And a quick note, this past weekend was great for sports. Great comeback for the Mets yesterday against the Braves. And quite the show yesterday by Stephen uh, Stephen Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Are they going to win it all in Cleveland on Thursday? We'll see. I think they will. For ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Swinney.